welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade bread recipe. This recipe has a crisp cracking crust and a super soft center. It's so delicious for sandwiches or breakfast. And make sure that your friend, your family will be impressed. So let's get started. So first guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place this into a small bowl. Then I'm gonna just take my warm milk. Make sure guys it's warm milk, not hot or cold because we want these to be activated but you don't need to color it with a hot milk then guys pour the warm milk over the yeast and just mix this ingredients then just let it sit aside at room temperature for about 15 minutes okay guys next step in a large bowl i'm gonna place the sifted flour with diced batter and i'm gonna just try to mix it until well combined then I'm gonna add the salt, the brown sugar, the yeast mixture, a little bit of corn oil and the nitrile seeds if you have of course at home. Actually guys, I use it just like an option to get more flavor or simply you can just add uh, sesame seeds. Then gently I'm gonna pour the warm milk over the mixture and a little bit of warm water and just start kneading. Actually guys, I do have a stand mixer at home, but I, I also know that a lot of us don't have a stand mixer So I want to do this in a way where all of us will be able to make it Now I'm going to essentially knead this uh, It feels like a little bit wet, but just gotta keep kneading for about 8 minutes to, to 10 minutes It's enough I think so Then just keep it in a bowl and let it rest for about 2 hours at least This is why my dough looks like after two hours. It's definitely doublet in size. Now I'm gonna just guys chuck it out gently. It's super soft right now. So now let's divide the dough into small bowls. Then gently guys take it in and roll it with hands. Make sure that it is served at the bottom. I'm gonna right now place it in a pan that I have already brushed it well with some corn oil. Then just recover it well and let it proof again just to expand. My little bowls have now expanded. I just need to give a little sprinkling of nigella on the top and a little bit of milk. Okay guys, I'm just right now baking it at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes until it's cold and brown. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> it totally smells like a bakery in my kitchen and we get to do the taste test now. It's true that it's a crusty bread, it's a crunchy on the outside and so soft inside so we're gonna just cut the parts guys. What do you think so? Let's get it. Okay guys you can just serve it with some batter, with cheese, with honey. Actually I prefer honey taste because I really love the sweet taste with bread especially for breakfast. So I'm gonna just show you here after we do a quick candy taste test because I really I can't wait. I'm so hungry. So let's taste. Mmm, it's so delicious. It's buttery. It's an insanely indulgent taste. So guys, you can just make at home with a few simple ingredients. If you have enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more recipes and to follow me on my Instagram. So thank you so much guys for watching and see you next time.